Greetings, my friends. Let's get right into the news, the end times prophetic news. So much to cover. Louis Farrakhan, Donald Trump and ISIS are signs God is sending plagues down on America. Sorry, Louis, but you forgot to mention one important omission. Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam is another sign of God sending a plague down on Obama land, formerly America. American cities consider letting women go topless in public. This place is getting to be a hellhole. The Papo Catapel volcano in Mexico is erupting to 28,000 feet. The Cotopaxi volcano in Ecuador erupts to 26,000 feet. <clears throat> the Shevuluk volcano in Kamchatka, Russia erupts to 20,000 feet. And the Santa Maria volcano in Guatemala erupts to 19,000 feet. The earth is shaking, my friends, and trembling. We are getting so close to the end. Mideast conflicts will bring the world to a total war, French President Hollande says. You know, it's sad when a secular man knows more than 99% of the church knows. Ayatollah Khomeini, uh, our supposed new best friend in Iran, our new uh, peace deal guy with the nukes, bans Iran from any negotiations of any kind with Obama land. What a joke. The Antichrist won't veto a UN vote on settlements if Israel builds new ones. And again, he is turning on Israel. And what does God say in Genesis? I will curse those who curse Israel. The great whore of Babylon, who is Obama land, formerly America, is cursed and heading down the, the road to hell, my friends. And in the lake of fire after that. <clears throat> the Antichrist pulls his delegation at the UN right when Prime Minister Netanyahu began his powerful speech. Dr dramatically, of uh, U.S. President Barack H. Obama chose to hold a video conference with Secretary of State John Kerry and U.N. Ambassador Samantha Power precisely during Prime Minister Netanyahu's speech. Obama thus pulled them from the U.N. hall while the Prime Minister of Israel was addressing the world body, just as Arab countries have always done in the past whenever Israel leaders and representatives speak. And again, Obama showing his true colors more and more every day. The Zionist Union in Israel says the whole country has become a target. Yes, my friends, the burdensome stone, the world hates you, but some like me and a few others love you, but above all, God loves you, Israel. He's got your back. He'll defend you. Prime Minister Netanyahu, we're in the midst of a wave of terror. Again, Prime Minister, stay strong. God's got your back. He's got Israel's back. The world's going to pay the price for messing with you. After the Trans-Pacific trade deal, Three million signatures are trying to stop secretive transatlantic deal. So now they're trying to, to stop it. Good luck with that. It's not going to stop. The Antichrist, Barack Hussein Obama, is about to be the head of the, of the entire global trade conglomeration, and that's going to be key to him setting up his beast kingdom. Believe what you want to believe. I believe in the facts. I show you the facts. My job ends once I share the truth as a watchman. Once the biggest buyer of U.S. bonds. China starts dumping U.S. government debt. The central banks around the world, China included, are selling U.S. government bonds and debt at the fastest pace on record. The house of cards are about to crumble. I believe the rapture, the imminent harpazo, catching away, whatever you want to call it, will be the trigger that, that not only crashes the great war of Babylon, but the entire world's finances. Prime Minister Netanyahu cancels German visit as violence spreads across Israel. Again, this was prophesied. Third, third infantata or third Reich? I call it the infantata because they're like a bunch of crybaby infants crying because they can't get their way and they hate Israel because Israel's God's chosen and they're not. Like the Polish Catholic priests in pre-World War II, rural Poland, the mullahs and imams, imams have been whipping Muslims into a Jew-hating frenzy for a long, long time. Again, prophesy the burdens of stone. Will the discovery of huge amounts of oil in Israel lead to a war in the Middle East? That's what I've been saying for years and years. I believe that's the hook that God, God will put in the mouth of Gog to draw him down for the Gog-Magog war. And Putin's already right next door to Israel right now, my friends. Billions of barrels of oil have been discovered in Israel. This is like the third or fourth huge oil and natural gas discovery. And this discovery could essentially make Israel energy independent for many, many decades to come. And again, the millennium will be started way before that. But there is just one problem. 
This discovery was made in the Golan Heights. Very, very critical, my friends. Psalm 83 war is so close. Syria presents Europe with its moment of truth. There's so much going on right now. So many things are happening and so much evil and anger is spreading around. And with all this influx of, of, of immigrants that we have, with Syria coming and uh, getting help from Russia now and from Iran and Europe and the rest of the West has to put a stop to it. If they don't, good luck with that, my friends. You're about to be in some serious, serious, serious problems. God's not playing around. This has all been prophesied long ago. So many things happening. I mean, it is just unbelievable how quick they're happening. Now, here comes China. Beijing is sending troops to join Russia, the Russian war in Syria, where they're actually fighting Syrians enemies uh, under the guise of ISIS. Things are getting so crazy, my friends. The, the Isaiah 17 prophecy, Psalm 83 war, the Gog Magog war, Armageddon, they're all lining up. Russia's Syria intervention may force choice on Obama, act or yield. The choice has already been made, my friends. The Antichrist stepped back from the Mideast so Gog or Putin could take over and be the go-to guy, thus ensuring his master role in the Gog-Magog war. Doesn't anyone read the Bible anymore? My friends, we are so close to the end. So much stuff happening. And again, the rapture, the, rapture, the harpazo, the falling away, I don't care what you call it. It's the same thing. It's going to happen any second of any day. And when it does... All hell is going to break loose. A few Christians are going to leave because most Christians are backslidden, filled with sin and iniquity. They aren't going anywhere. I'm not telling them they aren't. God is telling them they aren't. His word is telling them they aren't because they won't repent. I've got all the scripture, 250, exhaustive commentary. Message me for a copy. 150 scripture, exhaustive commentary that proves the harpazo catching away the rapture is pre-tribulation, nothing else. Message me for a copy. But if you're left behind, two-thirds of all humans will die the most awful, terrible, grotesque, horrific deaths possible. Why go through all of that? I have a prayer and six vital next steps in the box below the video title, the comments box. Pray that prayer. Do those steps as soon as possible because no one's guaranteed any more time in their life. Also in that box, my Tribulation Survival Guide video tells you how to get saved in the Tribulation, what to expect A to Z. If you want me to pray for you, contact me and I will. Remember, we are seed planters. Witness, pray, and walk away. Then it's between them and God. True Christians, look up. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Please share this news and stay ready and take care of yourselves. Bye.